What's going on, everybody? It's me, Mario, here with Mike Wazowski. And today we're going to be talking about some bullish news on VV, Ecomi, and Omi. And we're going to be talking about the airdrops and price predictions for the drop coming up tomorrow. So let's get into the video. Disclaimer, we are not professionals. We are not financial advisors. This is not financial advice. Do your own due diligence and enjoy the video. So yesterday we covered the airdrops possibly coming here tomorrow, and now they're officially released. So we do have the poster coming up tomorrow for anybody holding the full weapons rack. And we also have an airdrop coming on Sunday, which is for everybody holding the failure of control. And what is it? What is it? This one is probably my favorite out of all of them. It's going to be a yes, secret sir. rare. It has 5,000 editions, and it's given to everybody with the failure of control. We're also yeah. going to be going over these price predictions right before we talk into the bull of talk about the bullish news here coming to Vivi. So if anybody didn't see the Reese and Taps Trades interview, it was pretty sweet. You guys should go check it out on Taps Trades channel. But he was saying that there are going to be three games incorporated with Omi this coming year. So and he also said one's coming in a couple weeks or a few weeks. So Ooh. yeah, I'm I'm curious to see what it is because we know they have a partnership with Epico Regal. They also have a partnership possibly with Pixion Games. And we saw a tweet, we, which we covered a while ago on the channel. The creator of Pixion Games is actually working on the board at Vivi. And he came out and said that they're almost ready to talk about what is coming with their game and what new game is being released. So that's going to be super sweet. And we can also speculate that Brock McBlockchain, which is the person who made the Fishies, which is this is the Fishies NFTs, that he is working on a game as well. So those could be the top three games that we can see coming and never know. We could also see a game coming with directly the VV collectibles. We don't know a ton of stuff about it, but we do know that there's three games coming. So I'm super hyped about that. Definitely. I don't know. I'm really hyped to see just because it's going to be really nice to finally have some utility. I'm also hoping for some games with some utility for our NFTs, but it seems like these are going to be strictly Omi utility, not related to NFTs, right? I think so. He didn't. He didn't directly say any yeah, DV collectibles definitely. in the. Didn't games. go into much detail, but yeah. But he did say one hyped. of the games is going to be play to earn. So super hyped to see what that yeah. game is. Yes, but sir. we do have the drops coming up here tomorrow, and Ben is getting this drop. So he's getting the secret rare, which I Let's think is go. the coolest. The ultra rare does look pretty sweet too. The ultra rare has a thousand seven hundred seventy seven additions, but yeah. the other ones have quite high amount of additions. Four thousand seven hundred seventy seven with the rare. The uncommon 6,777 and the common is 7,777. The common does have the Homer on his shirt, which I Bart, do think not Homer, no, Bart. No, no, Bart. Yeah, sorry. Yes, sir. Does have Bart from the Simpsons on his shirt. So I do think some people on Facebook or other groups are going to find that one more valuable because of that. <laughs> and then also the secret rare obviously has the big old Bart next to him, which I think is really cool. I, yeah. I don't think we have anything really like this on the app. So I do think this one's really cool. But for price predictions, the list price for these are 60. So quite high, quite high yeah. with this amount of additions. We can look We're... over to the market, <laughs> see the specimens. Um, the uh, So the uncommon with 2,200 additions only is $44. The common with 3,300 additions is $40 as well. So, I mean, yeah. and even I though... can't see these going too high, honestly. Yeah, the argument could be made, and I think Matt even... I don't know if he threw shade or said something about like the Toby drop and how these were going to be different characters, not just the same collectible in the same pose. So, I mean, it might be hard to compare them to the veils, but like Carter said, I mean, there are so many mints of these we've seen in the past that people just aren't major fans of the independent artist stuff compared to the big IP. So yeah, in terms of price predictions, these aren't looking great. The ultra rare, I think is the only one we're thinking will be over retail. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm let's... definitely thinking that's the only one because I mean, the secret rare is going to be over retail, obviously, because it's free. But I th I think the secret rare is going to be over 60. Definitely. Just because it stands out the most with the big bar head and it's also a secret rare. So that also adds to the value, in my opinion. But for the common, I think the common is going to end up sitting. Um, I would say more than the uncommon and rare, but I also do like the uncommon. I think that does stand out a little bit more just because he has a big paintbrush. Yeah. So it's hard to say just because of that Bart shirt. I do think that will be more valuable. Yeah. I'm Overall, kind of thinking uncommon, like 30 and common, like 35, maybe. And then rare, like 40 to 50, maybe like 45. And yeah. then, yeah, ultra rare. What are you thinking? 150? Yeah, I'm thinking probably 150. I I kind of think, I mean, 
this doesn't have a ton uh, like of a difference in the amount of addition. So I don't know if this is going to be sitting higher than the common and uncommon, honestly. Just yeah, that's I think true. the other ones look cooler. But we have to end up seeing how they turn out in the app and how they look in the app. And if any of them are secretly animated, because that would be super cool. Like maybe this one starts spraying a can because it is a smaller artist. Maybe they spent a little bit more time on it. We have yeah. no clue what they actually and look like in the app. It'll be really interesting to see if this set, owning this set in the future, will grant you access to another airdrop. Because I feel like, I don't know, why why would that not happen? I feel like there's definitely a chance of something like that. And so... I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about picking up the set. We'll see, but I just, I don't know. I'll probably hold off and then see if it dips down in price, anything like that. But I do think there is some potential for other airdrops from this artist, considering that he was doing this one and it's kind of, I don't know, it seems just random or like out of the blue. So I definitely agree. So let us know in the comments down below what your guys' favorite one is. I'm going to have to go with the secret. Rare. Are you going to be going for the drop in the market? <sighs> I don't know. I'm tempted to go for it because my favorite is either the ultra rare or the secret rare. Um, yep. I just really like the detail with the flames on the ultra rare. And I like the little dynamite with the timer and everything. I think that's pretty cool. But at the same time, I don't know if I want to take that little gamble to maybe make, you know, a hundred gems, something like that, probably even less. So I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out, but let us know I down in the comments below. Yeah, I do like the little thing on his shirt too. I didn't really look at this as well. Yeah, before. He that also is has a little smiley a face. Really, that's a super detailed shirt. I'd love to see that thing on his shirt actually, like in 3D collectible format. That would be really cool. But yeah, I also wonder if these little stickers or not stickers, but pins are on the back of the sweater as well. It will be oh, pretty yeah. interesting because I do think these are going to be pretty in, pretty detailed in the app. We have to check yeah. it out, but I am not going to be going for this drop. I don't think unless a ton of people are hyping it up. I'm not a hundred percent sure of the demand on these, but just the yeah. amount of additions with the list price of 60, I think I might wait and possibly pick some of these up aftermarket. Maybe try to snipe some good mint numbers, something like that. Lastly, let's just touch on the top three of the top gainers and top losers. And then we'll end the video here. All right. Starting with the top three losers, we have the let's begin common Mickey from the last Mickey drop that happened. It's sitting at $37 down 22%. We also have Mr. Fantastic down to $19 and down 22%. We also have an elf Labbit down 21% sitting at $25. Goofy so poster. Yeah. Goofy or poster. Card. And Sue Juan Jen. Hen Perfect. I, for top gainers, it looks like we have the visible neon lab at up 30, almost Let's seven, 37 percent to that $330. Let's go, Ben. Ben's favorite lab is the neon. Yeah. I honestly, though, that could just be due to maybe one person buying like two of them, because if you look at it, number listed, oh, only yeah. 14 are listed. And on top of that, um, they were sitting at like 200. They've been around 500 and even the 700s and in, in the Ooh. early VV days. And so. I don't know. I'm also wondering if maybe, I don't know, people are anticipating some Labbit stuff coming because Definitely. I mean, Kozik did mention in the tweet, if you guys have been following us for a minute, you know, I went over in the video that he said there's going to be like eight Labbit drops this year. And one of them is for sure the Labbit or the Labbitron. So super hype for that. Also all the gamification hype, the breeding hype. I really think those are going to be one of the independent artists, uh, collectibles that stands out in the app so super hyped to see that but yeah the floor yes, the floor on that can jump like crazy i think I mean, there's only 14 listed and it can jump up to like eight seven eight hundred pretty quick we also see marceline up to 750 i started sitting at 450 just the other day so that would be sweet if we saw an airdrop from the second ever set the first adventure time collectibles ever on the blockchain that would be super cool we also see invisible women up 27 percent. and lastly i did want to say that this poster, which is in the app, is not going to be buyable. So on Saturday, tomorrow, this poster is not buyable. There is no drops announced tomorrow. So as of now, nothing's dropping tomorrow. And we're just getting the new ones on Sunday, which are these collectibles. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified whenever we post. This is VV Vision, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go. Omi homies, let's go. Let's go, homies.